Hello guys, what's up and how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel Englishly. My name is Muhammad Ali and I am a British Council certified IELTS trainer as well as a trainer for English efficiency and soft skills. Well, I'm sure that this video is going to be quite uh, helpful, especially for those who would be in a dilemma when they book their slots to write IELTS. Well, there are a lot of people who believe that IELTS is different, the question paper, I mean, when you write it through IDP and when you write it through British Council. In today's video, I would want to talk about and give you an insight of what IELTS test is all about, how it is conducted, and how do IDP and British Council, the two primary par uh, partners of Cambridge, creep in and become a part of uh, conducting the IELTS test. All right, so let's get going. So before that, I would want you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification when I upload a new video, as well as like and share the video to as many people as possible. Well, IELTS test is going to be the same, no matter you write IELTS through IDP or through British Council. Cambridge is the father of IELTS. They have given the authorities and are into a partnership with few well-known NGOs like British Council and IDP, who not just are the partners, but also collaborate with Cambridge in order to come up with the question paper. Once the question paper is prepared, it can be prepared. They have centers in the UK and they also have centers in Australia, um, wherein they do research and they come up with the content to prepare the question papers of IELTS. So these papers are prepared, they are tested, and they are then given a final quality assurance and a quality check by Cambridge. And then it becomes a question paper and that would be asked to all the people who appear IELTS in 140 different countries. So the question paper is going to be the same no matter you write IELTS through British Council or through IDP, especially here in India or anywhere else in the world. I have a couple of proofs to prove to you that this point is valid. The first thing is that when I was getting trained as a trainer in British Council in Mumbai in 2017, it's almost close to two years now, I was told by our master trainer that uh, the, the question paper is the same and it doesn't actually make a difference no matter you write IELTS through IDP or British Council. The second proof that I can give to you is that it so happened that uh, two of my students you know, wrote IELTS on the same day through IDP and another, a friend of his, wrote through the another service provider. But when they met in the evening to discuss the question paper, the question paper was exactly the same. Of course, the speaking test is conducted on a different day, so that is not kept into account. However, when we talk about the listening, reading and writing, uh, the question paper usually is the same especially if you write in bigger cities in India. Um, the question paper might be different on the same day uh, in a different country, but primarily in the zones or in a particular country, the question papers for listening, reading and writing in a particular country can be exactly the same. So no matter you write through British Council or no matter you write through IDP, the question paper is the same. And when the question paper is the same, it doesn't make any sense when people say that it's, it's easy if you write IELTS through IDP or the other way around. There are bulk of people, there are thousands of people who say different thing, things related to IELTS. But if you do a little bit of research on the net, you would yourself also come to know that uh, the question paper is the same. So please do not give attention to those rumors or those people who say different things about you booking your slots for IELTS. Guys, it might so happen that Mr. A might have written IELTS without any preparation, without knowing the technicalities and without knowing the types of questions and the question papers of different modules of IELTS through IDP. And then he couldn't perform well or she couldn't perform well. And then the person was very, very focused towards writing IELTS and migrating or probably going on a, to a different country for studies. And the person then did a lot of hard work 
got trained probably and then a homework as well in order to write IELTS um, and crack IELTS with a very good band score. And then the person might write, the same person, Mr. A, writes IELTS through a different service provider in his or her second attempt. And obviously the results will be better. But that doesn't mean that ease of, of the question paper or the difficulty of that keeps on changing with the change in the service provider. That's nothing to do with uh, reality. As I mentioned, the question paper is the same and you literally don't have to worry about picking a service provider. Yes, in terms of providing the infrastructure, IDP or British Council at times might not match equally. There are a few people who have reported that the infrastructural facility uh, facilities provided by IDP uh, were not up to the mark. At times people have uh, reported that the headsets were not working uh, for the listening, right? But that doesn't happen every time. It's not very, very frequent. At times there uh, might be a service provider which might uh, provide you with stationery, the pen, pencils, erasers, sharpeners and so on. Um, but again, that might not uh, be the case every time with the other service provider or with the, both the service providers every time. So all in all, you don't literally have to worry about booking your slot either through British Council or through IDP. You can just go ahead, book your slot through any of these two service providers and write your IELTS exam. Do your best guys. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me. And at the end of the video, I would also now want to say uh, that if you wish to ask me and advise me a particular topic on which I can prepare a video, please feel free to do so. I'll meet you in the next video then. Till then, take great care of yourself and bye-bye.